Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we got another subscription box. This one comes to us from Nice Subscription Club. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. I would really greatly appreciate it. And with that, friends, let's do it. Okay, so we got Knife Subscription Club. And as always, if you are interested in this particular subscription service, I will have a link to them down in the description box of this video if you would like to go and check them out. They have a lot of boxes to choose from. They have a basic, an advanced, a premium, an ultimate, going anywhere from $25 to $150 per month. This is a monthly subscription service, and they do offer three and six month discounts if you want to go that route and as always with uh, really good subscription boxes we get monthly little cards that kind of you know maybe give an introduction but tell you what everything you you get in your in your box and let's see do we have values yes which is becoming very rare that we are getting values because a lot of these other boxes that you see I open they quit putting the estimated values of the products on the cards don't really know why but for whatever reason they have stopped doing that and yeah and it's okay because we will roast them nonetheless for some of the products that they give us anyway right so we're gonna have our fun regardless of if they participate or not okay this is a what Camoral Tactical Steel. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. It looks like we got a really cool, a really nice thick. I'm assuming this is like a little cleaning mat or a little cleaning cloth. It doesn't fold out, right? No, this thing is just really thick. And it has their company's logo on it. It just feels like, it feels like a microfiber type type of a deal so yeah i'm assuming you could just you know you could just wipe the blade down with that all right uh, let's see we got some information here it says it's authentic well as opposed to what it being fake so yeah we got a little card here from the company if you want to check that out but we want to check out what's actually in this little black velvety looking bag that's all we care about Ooh, this thing is small it is small I like that that clip okay we got some kind of a stone wash blade okay we got some we got some good molded some good molded retention it's it's very thin like I know I know that a lot of things don't translate well but this this is not very thick and it's not very big you can you can see here my hand yeah and it's got a nice it's got a nice deep clip on it it's awesome let's see let's get into the actual knife because that's what we care about right and yeah it says china yeah 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 and then it's got the name on the other side but it's interesting because it has it has a texturing there's no there's no scale to speak of it's just the raw it's just the raw steel of the knife that has underwent the process of putting the texturing for your handle and then they give you a little choil down here and just a little nice little blade and like I said it's got that and you guys can see it's got that stone washed kind of look that weathered kind of look and this I, I hate you know I'm you know I'm gonna say it, it's it's a it's an appealing right it's an appealing looking little blade and it does have some holes it has a hole here a hole here and then a, a, a hole at the tail so you definitely could affix this to a stick and you would have you a 
little improvised throwing, you know, for hunting purposes. If you were in dire straits and in that type of situation, this could be purposed for that. I think you'd be hard pressed to get 550 cord through there, although you, you probably could, you know. But yeah, I'm going to say I like this. And then the, the little kydex, the little molded, I don't know if that's kydex or some kind of just molded material. But yeah, this is a this is a, a nice little a nice little blade. I like it. We'll read about it in the uh, little booklet there to see if we can get a breakdown more of what kind of Chinesium, you know, steel that is. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll definitely check that out. Okay, we got something from UST, and if you know that, you know, you know this is a company that you see a lot in in uh, Academy, uh, Walmart, you know. Uh, where else you see this? Pretty much any big box store, you're going to see this this brand, and they just they sell all kinds of different products. What's interesting about this in the prior box? No, it wasn't the prior box. It was the box before. One of the boxes here recently, we got a a compass that had a had a thermometer on it, and it's funny because this also has a wind chill. A windshield chart now it's on the back of the box but I'm assuming well I tell you what let's not assume let's go ahead and open this thing up and see it is okay so our windchill chart is printed on the back of this you know plastic in case it has a plastic case on on this whole thing that it's encased in, in your little compass it's one of those little very cheap very very cheap compasses but she does point north so yeah and it does have this, this little like uh it has a, a little tension lot uh clip there you know for your bag or, or whatever and you know it, it, what's funny is i talked about the other the other compass and having this integrated stuff in it and and my thought is still the same it doesn't this being a thermometer it doesn't take away from the usefulness of the compass although i will say this compass is very very basic i mean it is just a very basic cheap you know little compass <sighs> so you know if you're trying to do any sort of detailed land navigation you know this is you know it'll work but you know having something a little more sophisticated than this which you know I, I of course i know it'll make the price go up and all that and the other but my thing my fascination and nobody answered in the comment section so i was kind of surprised about the usefulness of a wind chill chart because now i'm, I'm genuinely interested now because like i said this is the second time I'm, I'm seeing a wind chill chart on a compass with a thermometer so i'm very curious about the the thought process behind needing a wind chill chart when you're outside you know i'm just just saying just gonna say all right i don't know that's just me i don't understand it but then again you know like i said I, i'm not i'm not a john rambo hardcore survivalist i just like going out in the woods and and being out with nature and just enjoying the beauty of everything that god created so so yeah, maybe I'm just, maybe that's just over my head, but yeah, so yeah. Okay, next thing we got is a Gerber, an Air Ranger G10 clip folding knife. Okay, and one of the things I will say about a lot of this Gerber stuff, I don't have a problem with it because I have a lot of it. Because in subscription boxes that I've received in the past, like before I sat down and totally you know, redid my, my formal dining room and started doing these videos for you guys. I got a lot of these type items from subscription boxes that, you know, sadly enough, I, I was not filming and not recording myself, but I do have a lot of this stuff and I, I don't have a problem with it. It's not overly expensive, so it's not going to break your wallet, but at the same time, you know, is it going to be stuff that is going to you know let's see what am i trying to say here meter your expectation that's what i always like to say you know don't think just because you know 
something is lower priced. I'm not going to say cheap because a lot of this stuff, you know, it's not exactly cheap. It is on the lower end of the price scale, but it's it's going to it's not going to give you the the most rugged of use, but it's still going to be very very useful. And of course, depending on how you take care of it and how you use it. As long as you, you know, meter your your use and and you know, use some common, a little bit of common sense, you'll get your money's worth. How about that? That's the fairest thing to say. This kind of stuff you will get your money's worth out of, and it's not junk. And that's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure there may be somebody out there that has a different opinion that says, hey, no, that stuff is junk. But, you know, I don't have a problem with it. And I'm going to say, this little knife, this is what an Air Ranger so this has G10 scales, and I'm going to tell you something. This is a very nice looking little knife. And I'm going to tell you already that I'm going to say. Some of you are going to hit that comment section, and you're going to agree. This is, this is a, a, nice, a nice little knife. And, you know, it, it is on the bigger side. But it's, it's a, I would say it's a normal size for a pocket knife. And the fact that you do have a clip that is not uh, ambi, it's only on one side. It has Gerber printed on it. You know, but the, the whole black aesthetic to this, with the scales being this dark black, the, the blade being this dark black coated, very nice. I like this knife. It does have some, up here, it does have some, some, some jimping that runs up right here. And that little run up to your thumb deploying tab, that's something that didn't have to be there. But aesthetically for the knife, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to have not being flat, having a little bit of a ramp that your thumb can rest on and give you that little bit more purchase, to me, that is such a small thing that makes a big difference. It just makes a big difference in your grip and handle actually using the knife. And it doesn't take anything away aesthetically from the look of the knife, doesn't. It's got a liner lock, so we're rocking a, just, you know, it's, this is a very simple this is a very simple knife, even closed up. It it looks really it looks really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna simp, man. I'm gonna simp for this knife. I really like it. Let's see if we can get some more detailed information. Uh yeah, we got a clip point. Yep, yep. We got dual thumb studs. So yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, there's a thumb stud deployer on each side of the blade, so dual thumb studs. Uh yeah, liner lock. We got a lanyard hole on the end. Uh, fine edge blade, which I would hope. Where, where's the blade? Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we got some 7CR17 MOV Chinesium. And I'm going to tell you, 7CR17 MOV. 7CR17 MOV. I think I'm used to seeing 7CR13 MOV. Maybe I'm crazy. I could be crazy. Could be crazy. But a lot of these steels, they're fine. You know, for medium duty use. Let's just say that, medium duty. You know, stepping up to, to more extreme use, of course, you want to step the price point up. You want to get you a better, you know, a better blade material and all that kind of stuff. But for something like this, and we'll check on this, this card here to see what they say the value of this is, because I'm probably going to say this is probably around 30 bucks. Just throwing that out there. It's probably going to be around 30 bucks or cheaper, or cheaper. And you're going to get your money's worth out of this little knife. Hit the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. Or anything I said about these Gerber type, these just very mass produced things you're going to find in a big box store like an Academy or Bass Pro Shop or Field and Stream or what, Sportsman's Warehouse. Yeah, any of that. Okay, and as per usual with Nice Subscription Club, they include a sticker and I'm going to tell you, this sticker, you know, I like tigers, I like big cats, so I don't hate this sticker. Uh, and I don't mind getting stickers. It's just, I don't know, maybe I'm coming around to the idea of getting stickers just because I get, I tell you what, I come around to the idea when I get stickers like these. And I don't mean to derail this, but we got this one in the last box, the Sonic the Hedgehog with the gas gun. And then I got this one, the same thing, got Optimus Prime. And then I got a, and then for Christmas, I think for the December box, we got the snowman with the belt fed, fully auto job. I mean, these, these are cool stickers. So I guess I, I, I'm okay with stickers as long as I like them. You know, 
when I get stickers I don't like, then I go off the rails. Or if it's stickers advertising the company itself. I have a problem with that because technically, you know, I'm advertising, right? I'm advertising for these for all these companies by doing these videos and you know the views that I get. This is free advertising for them. And I'm paying for the boxes. So yeah. Anyway, not gonna get on no get not gonna get on no old man soapbox on that. Alright, we got east west. Okay, east and west. Gotcha. We're going east and west, apparently with a little bag. Is this a fanny pack? Is this a is this a fanny pack type thing? It looks like that's what it looks like. Okay, it I'm gonna say this is a fanny pack because on the end you got these two buckles to run your belt through. I would wear this on my back. I would not wear it up front. Just saying. But we do have two we do have two straps that can be ran through Molly. So you could affix this to a pack, which is probably what I would do with it, because this is a really good size. Like the footprint of this thing is like the perfect size for how much real estate you would have on the bottom of a pack. You know, the bottom half of a, of a backpack. You know, you have a place, you know about yay big, really about this big. So this footprint is perfect. And we got some side compartments, so when the when you start stuffing it full of stuff, and it's even got uh, ways to, to cinch the bag up if you overload it. You know, if you got it really stuffed to the gills with stuff, you can run these across and then you can draw them down to, to kind of smush the bag together so it doesn't bulge out so bad. And also this is a secondary line of keeping the, the bag from coming open, which it doesn't clam down, so it's not really an issue. Okay, so I love how I defeat my own points here. I really love when I do that. That, that makes these videos all more trollable for me in the comment section. Okay, so all we got is a compartment, a main compartment here with a webbing sort of side compartment that you can go to okay and it's decent it's decent size you know because like i said this thing will open up a little bit when you when you really smush it open so yeah decent decent size and they give you a detachable yep a detachable like a shoulder strap kind of like if you needed to sling this you know like if you put your backpack on and you need to sling this around you, they give you the strap for that, which you can take off, which is nice. So you don't have to have that. So this is just an option. So this is this is really good. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this like they had it. Stuff this back in there. Okay. In the front compartment here, let's see what we got. Okay, you're... Can you take these off too? No, these are sewn in. Okay, you can't take those off. Okay, so your your the cinch the the two straps that cinch the bag together run through run through the front right here, and that is that that is like a a Molly size width, and they do give us a little patriotic Velcro Velcro. Uh, uh, this they give you this I hate it I hate when I do these videos and my mind goes blank I really hate it I hate it I can't stand it but yeah the, these points on here oh nope never mind they're not those definitely are not molly width okay that's very interesting because you could get a piece of webbing through here through the two outside ones but these three on the inside where this morale patch went, they're definitely not, I mean, they're barely the size of my pinky finger. So you're not, you're not going to get no webbing through there. Okay, so, all right, so that's, that's what we got. And then on the sides, we got these two little compartments. I'm going to tell you what, this, is a, this has got a lot going on for just a little pack. So yeah, it's just a little compartment on the side right here that has a single attachment point that has a webbing split in two but it's and, and it's it, it looks like it's odd you could probably get you could probably get molly to that so you probably could attach 
something else to this. I don't know if you would or if you would just want to utilize this as a, an attachment point for like a hanging piece of gear. But it just mirrors it on this side. You have the exact same setup on this side. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you. This right here, the more I'm looking at this, yeah, I wanted to clown it when I first opened it and looked at it, but I'm really starting to like this. I am really digging on this little pack. And then what's really cool is the cinch points double. They have a handle sewn across them, so the, you know, it also has a, a handle, so if you just want to carry it like that. Man, this is a lot of versatility in a little pack. No, oh, and it says it's got a, there you go, it's got a little MSRP on it, a $47.99. So, East West, let's see. Where's the company? I don't want to say the company name without getting it correct. Come on, bro, you got to have a website. And, and I shouldn't have to be searching this hard for your website. And they're going to make me search this hard for the website. Come on, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help y'all out here. Okay, well here we got some information. Let's see. It says attachable, detachable. Extra compartments that can be attached and detached. What? What can be detached? Nothing. Th this stuff can't be de You can't take this off. Okay, they're saying we can obviously put stuff on here that can be detached. Right? Yeah, extra compartments. Okay, extra compartments that you can attach or detach. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fanny pack. Convenient waste pack that allows everything you need to be within close reach or a sling bag. So, yeah, you can convert it to a sling bag or hand carry. So, yeah, everything that we just went over. So, yeah, you can do that. But I'm, I'm, I'm really baffled that there's no website. None of these little things on here have a website. They, there's got to be a website for this thing. There has to be. There has to be. Okay, we're going, uh, okay either way, I don't care. I like this pack. I like this pack. I really like this pack. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys like this pack as much as I do? I think I think what's got me is the, the sheer amount of versatility. Because one of the things I do like about gear is gear that can be it can be moved around to other, you know, other areas of your kit. Like this can be a wearable, it can be a sling, it can be mounted to a to a backpack. You you can just carry it, you know. This thing right here, you're gonna even at fifty bucks, even at fifty bucks, and it does feel, it feels made out of really good material, and the stitching on it looks okay. You know, I think this is, a, I think this, I think that's a home run. This was a good. This I'm gonna tell you something. Monthly knife club, uh, you know, I don't remember going off about a monthly knife club box as much as I like this one. Th this is really good. Okay, it says, welcome back yet again, beloved Monthly Knife Club members. It says, this month, yeah, we got the uh, Tiger sticker. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the UST compass. Uh, thermometer pocket tool. Includes Fahrenheit, Celsius, uh, D-ring. I don't know if I call that a D-ring. Uh, let's see, and a wind chill chart. Next, we have the one-piece fixed blade knife from uh, Camorin. This stone-washed fixed blade is made from one piece of stainless steel and features a lanyard hole and black AS, okay, it's an ASB belt sheath. Okay, and they don't test, that's all we get. It's stainless steel. Okay, next we have the Day Detachment Attachment Pack from East West. This pack is water resistant with 600D polyester fabric construction uh, and PVC coating. Smaller front organizational pouch with Molly straps, and I'm gonna uh, yeah, it's got Molly, two pieces of Molly. So let's, yeah, let's not, let's not go crazy now. Uh, let's see, with Molly straps and high quality ABS uh, plastic uh, hardware, along with the, with the adjustable straps, perfect for adding on to existing packs or for a stand or for standalone purpose. Love it. Okay, then finally, uh, this brings us to our knife of the month. Uh, it's the Air Ranger from Gerber. Uh, it's designed by famed knife maker Bill Harsey, an Air Ranger. Okay, and is is a great uh, logical daily carry for addressing issues efficiently. Resilient black oxide coating on the blade and all hardware gives you a low profile, highly corrosion resistant knife when you need it. Okay, blah 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 blah. There we go. Okay, we did not get the premium. 
Okay, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, guys, in all this. This was the advanced box. Okay? This was the advanced box. Okay, advanced plan. We're in this box for 50 bucks. Right? Yeah, 50 bucks. We got the sticker. Okay, we got the the UST compass uh, thermometer, a 399 value, which I'll say that's that's pretty pretty good. Okay, we got the one piece Camorin fixed blade knife made you know, made all one piece. And I, I like this. Okay, they got this at $23.95. $23.95 for this little fixed blade knife with the sheath. Okay. All right. Not going to complain. Then we got the East West Day Pack, which is funny because they say the value is $34.95, but the company gives the MSRP of $47.99. So, okay. Which to me, I would buy that. I would buy this at forty-seven ninety-nine. But they give it a value of thirty-four ninety-five. Keep in mind, we're in this for fifty bucks. And then we got the Gerber Gear Air Ranger folder, which I think is an awesome knife. This is an awesome little knife. Forty-seven dollars. Okay, that's more than I would have thought. I would have thought it would have been maybe in the mid to high thirty-dollar price range. But they got it at forty-seven bucks. So I'm gonna say, okay, it's a good little knife. It's a nice, it's a nice looking little knife. It seems to be a, a good, a good deal, right? Yeah. Forty-seven bucks. So they give a total box value here of one hundred and nine dollars and eighty-nine cents, which I'm gonna say they kind of cheated themselves because they undervalued at least from the manufacturer this little bag, and we're in it for fifty bucks. I'm gonna say this. This was a home run. Two knives. Uh, a crappy compass, which I have no use for, and an awesome bag. So really, we're we're talking about three things here, right? One, two, yeah, three things. We got this Gerber knife, the little fixed blade knife, and then the bag. Home run. I'm happy. Let me know what you think about this particular box or this service. I know this service is, has been kind of lackluster. If I, if memory serves, you know, and it's really hard because I get so many of these boxes, it's really hard for me to remember which ones, you know, my sort of satisfaction rate on these boxes but this box was a double thumbs up this was a home run i'm very happy i love the knives i love the bag and the value is there you know i exceeded the value you know so this this is what these boxes are supposed to be my expectation was met i got more value than i paid so yeah this this is a home run anyway i'm going to put some stuff up in these corners and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about my thoughts, right? Any criticisms you have of anything that I've said. I think this was a home run at 50 bucks. I think I did very well. So, yes, as always, I can't wait to hear and see you in the comment section down below. And, yeah, with that, hope you're having a great day and all that good stuff. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.